If I close my eyes, I can give you a blow-by-blow blow account of the accident that killed my car and left me black and blue. The unfortunate event happened three years ago. Truth be told, it took a long time to get over the psychological trauma. And even now, I find myself a little freaked out by the prospect of driving on the highway in the rain. Reliving a traumatic event is normal. Like me, most people get over it eventually. A few unlucky souls go on to develop more serious hang-ups, officially referred to as PTSD, post-traumatic stress disorder. What makes some folks more vulnerable than others is not well defined. But one variable that does influence the outcome is the frequency of intrusive memories shortly after the event. The bigger the problem at the get-go, the more likely the problem is to persist. Minimizing intrusive memories should be the goal after someone has experienced a traumatic event. A group of European researchers have found a way to do this using cognitive neuroscience. The technique is so simple, anyone can do it. Join us for this episode of Better Body Chemistry TV as we find out how to take advantage of the brain's limited bandwidth to survive a trauma. Better Body Chemistry TV is brought to you by Dr. Sandy, a scientist turned gremlin buster, helping you battle sugar gremlins, heffalumps, and other health horribles through better body chemistry. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health. Now, the making of a bad memory, or a good one, requires repetition. In the case of a bad memory, repetition is effortless. The brain replays the event as it grapples to make sense of what happened. The memory trace gets stronger and stronger with each replay. But... It is precisely in these moments, the first few hours post-trauma, that these memory traces can be disrupted. Now, there are different ways to disrupt this trace. Think electroconvulsive therapy. <laughs> it works, but it's neither practical or appealing. Hmm, what about a game of Tetris or Candy Crush? Reaching for the gaming console shortly after the moment of trauma creates competition. You can concentrate on the game or you can ruminate on your trauma. You can't do both at the same time. The brain just doesn't have the resources. This is the conclusion of a study that recently took place at the John Radcliffe Hospital in Oxford. All the people enrolled in the study had been involved in a motor vehicle accident within the last six hours. They had been hurt, but were still compass mentis enough to either play a game of Tetris for at least 10 minutes and not longer than 20, or play being a reporter by keeping a log of their visit to the emergency department. Both the tasks took about 20 minutes. Each player received a diary and was asked to keep tabs on 
any experiences of intrusive memories for the first week following the trauma. Now, for the purposes of this study, an intrusive memory is defined as any image, smell, or sound of the event that popped into the mind without warning. The frequency scatter graphs show the time course of the number of intrusive memories recorded in a diary each day. The Tetris players are shown on the left and the reporters on the right. The size of the circles reflects the number of people reporting an intrusive memory. The solid lines is a summary of the data. Playing Tetris definitely accelerated recovery. So it's probably something you should add to your toolkit. <laughs> Bad things happen all the time. Being able to shut them out and move on is crucial to begin the healing process. A quick game of Tetris or something similar is pretty easy to implement. You probably have at least one visuospatially demanding game on your phone or PC in a traumatic moment, whether it is your own or someone you love, charge it up and disrupt that bad memory trace. So you create better brain chemistry and better health. Interested in discovering more ways to create better body chemistry or need a little help getting your body chemistry on track? Visit our website at www.betterbodychemistry.com. Browse our library or enroll in one of our courses or programs. The advice is simple to follow and based on real science, not hype. Bad things happen. Knowing this strategy can give you an advantage. So share this video with your friends and family so that they are prepared for life's traumatic moments. And, and if you enjoyed the video, be sure to subscribe to our channel so you catch future episodes of Better Body Chemistry TV. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you next time. Remember, small things can make a big difference to your health.